Well hello there my friends and welcome to the video. Today we're going to check out a little bit of a Dead Matter update, July 24th update to be exact. Now I've been wanting to cover Dead Matter devlogs for quite some time but I've just found like you know let's, let's get covering it before before the time happens because it's going to be not far off now that we get the closed alpha. From what I can gather the partners for Dead Matter can actually cover this on YouTube and Twitch which I am a partner just to get that out of the way so you will get footage from me. Um, as soon as possibly possible. So we'll do this in kind of a uh, stats report style of old that we used to do, but not as in depth. We're just gonna scroll through the page. So uh, these days with four kids, I don't have a lot of time, but let's kick things off anyway, as I quote some sections and take a look at some footage for work in progress items in Dead Matter. So basically they're catching up with the last six weeks in development and it touches down on the legal issues they've had, which is why the delay happened as it was supposed to release into closed alpha during July. Obviously we're nearing the very end of July now and it's not happening, but they are coming close to a resolve in the Q&A section down here. Um, you know, they're trying their best to minimize the issue popping up again uh, and things like that. And the answer about July there, NDA, there will be an NDA for, you know, backers and things like that. But if you are a partner, um, with us giving any, uh, plenty of opportunities to release gameplay clips or even stream the game on Twitch and YouTube, which is really good for us that are partnered. We can get that content out for you ASAP. Uh, what if X feature is missing from the vlog? I look forward to it. So I would imagine with anything, you know, if stuff's shown off, we know this from DayZ, uh, there may be things missing from the alpha. It may be added during the alpha and things like that, you know, where they're putting stuff in. Uh, alpha is the place where, where content and features are piled into the game to be tested and things like that and give a load of feedback to the developers and see where they can fix things. So yeah, hopefully not too long. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to, to Dead Matter though. And it, it looks so good. I mean, these these clips, they seem to have like a lot of post-process and motion blur on, which obviously I will turn off straight away, but it is so good to see um, this barricading system here with the chains locking a door and you can unlock it. That's a really nice take on barricading buildings. So Kyle over at the team has continued work on bug fixes for occasional crashes on dedicated servers. Oh, oh, oh by the way, dedicated servers, they are with Nitrido. They're partnered with Nitrido. I'm partnered with Nitrido. There's a very good chance I may be able to sort us out a dead matter server for the community. Um, I will work on that with you. I'll get onto Nitrido and we'll try and sort something out in, in that side of things. Um, but yeah, implementing the door barricades into player construction that was shown last week and wrapped up implementing better water in Dead Matter. He's also added a mechanic that players will need to keep in mind. You need keys for vehicles, unless you've hotwired it. Love that mechanic. And players will need to remember to take the keys out of the ignition when leaving or getting ready to bail out of a vehicle, or they will risk losing them. Here we have a little clip of the water section. Swimming underwater, which is a nice touch. Bit more detail under the water's needed and some sound effects of course for swimming uh, let's mute that for now on the subject of barricades nomad has implemented two basic traps for players settlements the first is a barbed wire trap and can be placed anywhere in the player's base players will not be able to craft these but instead you must find bundled barbed wire stacks around the map in order to place them minor bleeding damage will be applied if the player tries to actively move through the barbed wire but will not receive damage while standing still the second trap is the electrified fence kit. Players can construct this addition to their fences. It does exactly what you think it does if players try to cross the fence when it has power. We can see the power on and off their solar panel as well. And the uh, electrical cables there, danger, electric, oh, that's pretty sweet. That's a pretty sweet touch. Here we can have Gunschlinger has uh, got the zombie looting implementation in time for the closed alpha. So it's nice to see full, full, clothing interaction with the infected, the zombies. You could proper strip the whole clothing items. Check that out. I mean, I wouldn't want to do that, but you can do it if you want to. That's a, that's a really nice touch. And here we go with the farming equipment, um, just so the farms look more, more well, previously alive, because farms would have all the farming equipment, trailers, bales of hay, and tractors, and harvesters, and things like that all over the place. So that's nice that it's going to be uh, stockpiled with, with details. Here we go with hacks working on the R700 animations such as magazine variants, reloads, and ammo checks. So I really like my animations with weapons and my sounds. So let's check out what this sounds like. Okay, so there's nothing wrong at all with those sound effects for that gun. And I do like the ammo checks, very Tarkov, which I love the part of Tarkov with that. It makes it feel more immersive. 
you're in a gunfight and you panic, you lose count of your shots and you just quickly press a button hotkey to get an amount on your magazine just quickly and he takes it out, doesn't matter. It just gets you in the game even more. So that's great to see with Dead Matter. And uh, now we're going to take a look at the revolver, which looks spectacular. And uh, Hacks has also been working on other new animations uh, to get single round reloading implemented for the revolver uh, for when players don't have speed loader handy. This kind of handheld power comes with some time constraints after all. Now these animations do look really nice for that revolver and the revolver itself. Looks pretty slick. Cannot wait to get my hands on that. You know I'm a sucker for revolvers. Let's move down to the Makarov here. Uh, animations ready for the staple pistol of survival games, the Makarov. And I did notice, though the animations are very sexy, there's some cloth physics on this on this target here. I wonder if that is in the final game, because I love cloth physics. And I'd love to be able to like fire fights around like hanging sheets and stuff in certain areas of the map and that to be flapping about when shots are hit. That'd be awesome. And we have a bonus here from the shooting rain mentioned in last week's post. We'll also have a shooter's challenge area for players to test their accuracy and aiming speed on the dummies. This will be a separate area that players can launch from the main menu for dummies. Oh, that's good that that's separate. You know, a lot of games have done that. PUBG's done the training, training zone kind of area that you can load into separate and get used to the firearms. And uh, yeah, just learn, learn with your reactions, your accuracy on the dummy test here with all the weapons. Pretty nice touch. Uh, you know, I'm going to need it. Well, that's an update for the 24th of July anyway for Dead Matter. Um, sorry I haven't been covering these in the past, but, you know, Dead Matter I'm super hyped with. And since I remembered that I'm a Dead Matter partner, I, 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 I had the invitation. I never accepted it, so I weren't in the Discord. I weren't actually officially down as a partner because I didn't accept. And I was like, whoa, that's been there for like six months. I haven't accepted it, so I got on it. So thank you to those who helped me on the Dead Matter team get that resolved on the community side, the team, uh, the press side. That's, that's uh, really awesome of you guys to help me even though I left it so long but it's a relief I can get to this content as soon as we possibly can come the release of closed alpha for dead matter we'll be streaming it we're making videos on it we're doing all sorts so keep an eye on that and uh, follow us on twitter join our discord facebook uh, for all the latest announcements and things like that and uh, if you guys want to see more of this kind of video and uh, you know keep covering dead matter and its development until closed alpha and we get some gameplay for you hit that follow button subscribe and uh, smash that like button if you enjoy the content I create or hit that dislike button. Uh, I love you all either way and I'll see you peeps next time. God, just, just look at that revolver though. Where is it? There it is. Look at it. Cannot wait to shoot somebody in the face with that.